with us, the Youngsville Mardi Gras Parade will roll this Saturday. And with more than 50 floats, the city is getting ready for a pretty big crowd. Jordan Lippincott reports from the Youngsville Sports Complex with what people can expect. The parade starts here in front of the Youngsville Sports Complex at 11 a.m. It's important to note that there will be no parade parking here at the complex. The mayor is suggesting parade goers to come out early to secure their spots. We're expecting record crowds this weekend. Roads are closing at 930. Drivers and riders will need to be in their places at the sports complex no later than 1030. Have you float lo loaded with beads and personnel before you get in the line because no vehicles will be allowed in the, the float lineup? Police Chief Ricky Boudreaux will lead the parade and there will be 85 police officers on the route. They will be at every intersection for every road and with the extra ones we will place them in between where officers are at. So uh, the only way that you're not going to see an officer somewhere close to you is if you've had too much to drink. In addition to the parade, the city is hosting the Mardi Gras Mambo Collegiate Softball Tournament. We're going to have 400 softball players. Five of the teams are going to be riding in the parade, leading the parade, uh, and then getting off of the uh, getting off the parade route and, and going right onto the field to, to play games. City officials are asking people to have fun, but be responsible. Hoping for good weather and hoping that everyone has a great time while they're here enjoying our city. For additional information like the parade route and a list of road closures, head over to our website, KATC.com. In Youngsville, Jordan Lippincott, KTC TV3.